Slidstone huffed in annoyance. These fleas are a menace, she hissed. There was a silence between the two cats, as Dodon stared at something past the medicine cat. Slidstone looked behind her, only to see Snake Speckle in the process of training Twig, the scrawny newcomer. She turned her head back to the task at paw, and massaged the mouse bile into Dodon's fur, making sure to get rid of all the fleas. Her thoughts started drifting as she thought of Star Clan's message. They have to get more cats, according to Star Clan. But with the newcomers come strange cats, and she couldn't trust them. And with the warning of a hunter in disguise, well, her heart ached with more worry than she cared to admit. She sighed. There, you should be free of your fleas now. Instantly, Dodon sat up, her eyes clearing. I'm going on a patrol with Snake Speckle. She rushed out the den before stone, a slate stone could reply and quickly disappeared through the bushes. A slate stone shook her head, only for the young she cat to shyly poke her head into the den once more and whisper a small but thank you. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Sims 3 Warrior Cats, where we have just gotten rid of Dodon's fleas with this little chipmunk right here. Um, we will say that when a cat has gotten rid of their fleas, they kind of have like a 24 hour cooldown where they cannot get fleas, even if they interact with other cats, because otherwise, well, it's kind of pointless to... Uh, get rid of anyone's fleas <laughs> if anyone else in the clan has them so that's kind of what we're saying um but dodon and snake speckle have actually decided that they are going on a patrol um and twig will stay home he wants to catch a turtle and he actually wants to hmm he actually does want to uh, talk to snake speckle as well so he might actually come over here and be like hey can i hang out with you guys you know um, and they'll be kind of awkwardly saying yes, probably. <laughs> um, his enthusiasm is very good, so he's gonna sniff and be like, Oh, I want to go on the patrol as well. Uh, Snake Speckle might... Well, I don't think he would be that annoyed. Honestly, Dodon might be the, uh, be a little bit more annoyed than, than Snake Speckle. Uh, but let's see if we can send them out. I was thinking over here, um, visit this area with uh, Snake Speckle and Twig. And then let's have all of these little kitty cats go on a patrol. And Slate Stone is, she can't have medicine, she can't have medicine cats. <laughs> she can't have fleas. Uh, and she'll just kind of stay there. Um, did everyone get lost yeah okay so apparently that didn't work but we are gonna send everyone over here um like so and then hope they don't get hit by a car i think we definitely will say that the cats who live in this camp have like a tunnel that they go through uh but that'll probably take quite a long time to make uh, plus we'll have to make it as well <laughs> But I think these two at least, it seems like Twig is uh, pretty confident in his work. He just trots on over, whereas the other two would run. So we're going to have these two sort of like socialize while Dodon is on the way. Now this actually seems to be a night patrol uh, so that's slightly interesting we won't really be able to see the cats oh there's a monster but uh but we made it we made it okay oh, lovely um so uh all three of us can go over here to the mossy path and just do some midnight hunting i think snake speckle dodon um, considering Tree is the one leading right now, I could imagine that he, uh, they're kind of showing him around the territory. 
and uh, sort of quizzing him on it is my uh, is my thought. Now Dodon does actually want to be friends with him, and uh, so does Slatestone. Twig doesn't really want to be friends with any of them. He mostly just wants to meet his old uh, old friends and such from the forest then. Um, we actually have quite a lot of cats who are mates with other cats. So that's pretty interesting. And I am pretty sure I know who is going to... Um, well, I have a pretty good idea, at least, of who is actually going to join the uh, the clan eventually. Uh, might be soon. We'll we'll see how that goes. Um, but there you go. You can hunt six times. Dodon, you can hunt six times as well. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> So there we go. Uh, so we'll just have these these two hunt for a little bit. Twig, you will probably pass out any second. Uh, but he's never been on a patrol before, so this is probably pretty good for him. And uh, let's see what Slatestone is doing at home. Well, she's sleeping. <laughs> Not a lot going on there. Um, but I'm so, so excited, actually, about uh, this challenge and this story, really. And I can't wait for other cats to come in. And we will probably get uh, a little bit of some prophecies. We have, an, we have sort of a prophecy with the uh, hunter in disguise, but we'll definitely get more action from StarClan uh, eventually. For now, Snake Speckle did not catch anything he was proud of. Oh, whoops, that's not right. Uh, Dodon, you're trying to catch a turtle. But do you catch it? That is the question. Hmm. She does, she does. And Twig is also trying to catch a turtle. I think he'll sort of take a nap here. Uh, after he's tried to catch that. Okay, Snake Speckle has a lizard. Actually, maybe he takes more of a nap. He'll, he'll, he'll go to sleep. He'll <laughs> take a big nap um, out here. He does want safety, so I don't think he would be too scared here. Well, maybe he would be. But he would probably feel pretty safe with two warriors who at least he sees as uh, very good. And they are very good. They're, I mean, they're hunting skill level 6, both of them. <laughs> That's pretty impressive, if you ask me. Although, <laughs> it doesn't seem like Snake, Snake Speckle is having the best of luck. Okay, so these two are actually... Uh, standing right here, and Snake Speckle wants to nuzzle uh, Dodon. So we're gonna have, have them do that. Give a little nuzzle and um, maybe another nuzzle and then just talk for a little bit now that Twig is sleeping. So is anyone hungry? Yeah, they sort of need to, to get more food, honestly. Um, so I think, I think we'll have them hunt twice more each. And then they'll sort of go home with Twig. Uh, and finally, Snake Speckle is, is, is off with his fleas. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, these two are actually maxed out relationship, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. I'm so excited for the new kitty cats. Uh, it's going to be very exciting, actually. We have met them, as I said, but... Um... Yeah, we don't really know anything about them. At all. Um, except for what Twig has told us. Okay, so it seems like there's only really bugs out tonight. Uh, that is a bit unfortunate. However, Slatestone is... 
fully awake now and um we actually have quite a lot of prey in the prey pile so they could totally just go home i think they will after one hunt here uh, unfortunately dodon didn't catch it they're gonna wake twig up and then they're all gonna head home did you at least catch yours oh he did thank goodness okay so one last little nuzzle here and then i think they will all uh go home um well actually i'm gonna have gonna have you stock for prey one more time and then you will present this to dodon uh, so she can have some food yeah there's a there's a den over here but we're not gonna be acting with that oh she didn't like it no <laughs> Do you not like bugs, or are you angry about the warrior code being broken here? Considering it's a hunting patrol. I'm not sure, but she's gonna eat it. Um, and apparently Twig has also found a bug, although he kind of lost it. So I think uh, all in all, this is just kind of a bad hunting patrol <laughs> today. So they're all gonna head home. Um, like so. Home to sleep, really. Um, and hopefully not get hit by a car or anything. Yeah, they're good, they're good. Okay, uh, Slate Stone is apparently non-destructive now, that's nice. Twig, you have a little bit of energy, you can... Well, maybe they'll just sleep, honestly. Dodon will definitely just pass out, and so will uh, Snake Speckle, it looks like. Um, but of course, we will put down Dodon's turtle here. And that's about it. Apparently, Leisure Day is approaching, but I don't think wild cats like this have any leisure. Uh, unfortunately. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that was so close that Snake Speckle got a uh, yellow portrait there. <laughs> so, Snake Speckle is... or Snake Speckle? Slate Stone is the only one really awake right now. Um, we might... Hmm. I'm sitting here thinking a little bit on, on how to do things. I think we'll just have um have the have them uh, have them all sleep right now. Well, except for Slate Stone, I suppose, but we'll just sort of skip time a little bit until morning. Slate Stone is grooming herself on the rock. That is so cool. Uh except she's doing it in all the wrong spots. <laughs> uh but that's really cool how she can just sit there on the rock and and do her thing. Uh, the kitty cats will will get uh, will wake up soon enough. I think honestly, Snake Speckle might just wake up from how hungry he is, <laughs> and he does probably like snakes of all things, um, most of all. And actually, Slate Stone and Snake Speckle haven't really interacted, despite them being. Uh, being both chosen for Star Clan. So I think these two will kind of have a moment where they um where they sort of talk to each other. <clears throat> I just have a nice little chat. Uh because they both like Dodon, they both have a maxed out relationship with her, but they don't really know each other. So I mean she even likes Twig or knows Twig more than she knows um Snake Speckle. So these two are gonna have a little chat. Uh, just see how that works. And um, if any of you have seen our, our uh, clan gen videos, you would know that Stag Clan and Badger Clan are really not at uh, good terms at all. So I am pretty impressed that Dodon has sort of seen past that. And I mean, Slate Stone did exile herself basically but 
it's still pretty cool that she saw past that and uh, decided that she would um she would hear the story of another cat okay um i think i'm gonna hide the headline effects so hide uh headline effects uh, on so there we go uh now they won't have thought bubbles and stuff it's just a bit jarring sometimes i mean it's really up to what you like uh, sometimes i like having it on sometimes i don't um yeah it really depends but there we go they have chatted a little bit at least uh have a little bit of a closer friendship and slatestone is off to sleep uh get that last nap off for today and it seems like morning is coming and dodon and twig are actually going to wake up around the same time uh twig is pretty hungry i wonder what he's going to f uh, eat apparently the little termite which um steak speckle did you just yeah you woke up again interesting uh so i'm pretty interested in him eating the termite of all things because that kind of shows that he he cares a lot about the um the clan maybe he thinks that oh i don't need to eat as much as the others i can just take the smaller piece of prey <laughs> interesting trick you're uh, you're pretty pretty cool not gonna lie and now you're freaking out about something <laughs> something or another um so that's pretty interesting i wonder if he well he probably needs to scratch a little bit and then he would probably honestly go up here and survey for a couple seconds because he is adventurous uh he's pretty clueless so i could totally see him like surveying the camp <laughs> to see if anything was dangerous here um which i mean it, it, his heart is in the right place i suppose but a uh, surveying camp might be a little bit useless um Although, if there were snakes, that would be a pretty good thing to do. She wants to go fishing now. That's interesting. Did Snake Speckle also want to do that? He wants to catch a fish, yeah. Snake Speckle, are you going to go sleep? You are. Okay, well, that's great. Um, These two can kind of sniff, and then she actually wants to groom Slatestone. Um, and I'm gonna take this one as she wants to train a little bit, so I'm gonna have her practice hunting. You know, I was actually thinking that maybe they actually are thinking about, um, fighting a little bit because of uh, Twig. Considering Twig just wandered onto their territory and they have told other cats about themselves now. And apparently, according to Twig, a lot of cats are talking about them. I'm thinking they might actually want to practice fighting some. Slatestone won't really be part of that, but I could totally see the others being part of that. So, let's have... um. Well, actually, I think maybe maybe uh, Slatestone does know how to fight. Well, of course, Dodon would know how to. I mean, she's a warrior. Of course, she would know how to. So, Twig, come down here, and we'll we'll try a uh, try a bit of fighting practice here. Oh my goodness, your head twisted in ways I cannot imagine. <laughs> um. Okay, so we're gonna have them play chase. And I think this might give them the fighting skill. Um, I'm a bit uncertain, but I think this is how you do it. We'll see. Uh, but yes, I do have uh, I do have some mods installed uh, that make it a lot easier to determine what sort of skills the cats have. Um, but yes, we will have them fight for a little bit. Well, chase, but you know, <laughs> same thing, I suppose. Whereas Slatestone is just sort of... Oh, she actually wants to chase Twig as well. 
which would increase his uh, his fighting skill, I think. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, Snake Speckle, how are you doing? Uh, oh, he's actually sleeping in Dodon's nest. So I wonder if they're sharing nest at this point. That's very cute. Very, very cute. Okay, well, these two are sort of done now. We're going to have her stop scratching, and then we're going to have... Oh! Oh, good gracious, look at this! Man, they became quick friends, those two. And a like, little lick at the end? Interesting. So I wonder if Dodon... Oh, they're not even that good friends. She actually accepted a nuzzle from him? What? I am so shooketh right now. <laughs> okay, but where are you, Twig? Twig, did you disappear? There you are. Um, we're gonna we're gonna sniff him a little bit, and then we're gonna play chase. Uh, see if that works for for her, uh, the skill. And there is a lizard in the prey pile, uh, just begging to be caught. Uh, but unfortunately, it was between some rocks, so it could not be. Um, but she does seem like she wants to hunt, so I'll have her hunt a little bit here. Um, a little bit here. And I suppose a little bit over here, just to have it kind of differ. Uh, so they're actually like patrol hunting, not just hunting in the same spot i suppose oh well these two they became quick friends though goodness uh so he does want to meet someone new but i'm gonna replace that with a gift uh presenting a gift to slate he doesn't want to be best friends with slate stone but he he does seem like he wants to uh at least interact with her <laughs> So that's pretty interesting. Also, I have no clue who the leader is going to be of this clan, and I have no clue what the clan is going to be called in the first place. Uh, so that's pretty fun. Pretty f Oh my gosh. Snake Speckle. I can barely even see you down here, but what? <laughs> Snake Speckle! Oh, you're showing those Bengal jeans, that's for sure. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, he seems to be doing absolutely wonderful. Uh, he's probably gonna wake up. It is afternoon, after all. Uh, in the middle of the day. And Slatestone, as I said, you're eating. Uh, I do know that they can also fight each other. But we don't exactly want them to fight each other. <laughs> to learn uh, the fighting skill because that kind of takes down um takes down their their well mood quite a lot and um all their friendship so we're gonna have all of them just kind of chasing each other for now are you finding anything dodon she is a little a little lizard Um, would these two actually chase around though? I don't feel like Snake Speckle really cares too much about him. And it doesn't seem like Twig cares too much about Snake Speckle either. So I actually don't think they would. I think he's gonna come over here and uh, sort of hunt with, uh, with Dodon instead. Which would be over here and then over here. And Dodon actually caught a a a, a uh, well a, a gecko. At this point, I think these two will sort of just hang out. I feel like these two are just such good, well, friends for now at least. Uh, that we're gonna have them sort of socialize, and then we're gonna have them chase around as well. So there we go. 
And uh, I can assure you guys, the other uh, other kitty cats are pretty close at, um, well, let's just say, you know, joining here, coming around. Uh, so don't you worry, guys. It is going to be very hectic soon enough. <laughs> um, Twig is practicing hunting. He's doing really good. And um, yeah, I guess we'll see where this goes how they are going to um how they're going to uh well develop relationships and how everyone are going to have uh, have it with each other i mean they are living in the same territory a lot of cats they have to actually trust each other and such uh, until they can really work together so we'll have to see if the cats are even meant to be here in this group or maybe they'll start their own group uh, maybe we'll have kittens soon enough i don't really know or maybe I do. <laughs> no, but I do have some ideas. Um, I'm very excited to share them, share them with everyone. Uh, and if you also want to see those ideas come forward, then be sure to uh, consider subscribing. And until next time, you guys. Bye-bye. Mm,